I am going to talk about today, guys. I'm sitting up here in front of my computer, and I want to have a, just a real quick conversation with you guys. Let me fix this thing about how to deal with haters, about the fact that when you start winning with money, I guarantee you, you're going to have some haters, okay? You're going to have some people who are not going to be in your corner when you start winning with money. And I just want to have this brief conversation with you guys to say, hey, on this channel, we try to help you guys build wealth, right? We try to help you build wealth. We try to help you get better with your money, manage your money better, and you know, do all the right things with money. But you can do all the right things that you want to do with money. At some point, some people are not going to be in your corner like you thought they would, okay? So let's have this conversation today, a little bit different conversation about money, but still it's about money. It's important, right? As you come in, guys, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. How's my voice coming along? And give me a thumbs up and then give me, let me know where you're coming in from. What city, what state, what country, what county are you in? Um, but yeah, guys, how do you deal with haters? See, nobody really has that conversation about money. We talk about how to get money. We talk about how to keep money. We talk about how to do a lot of different things with money. But do we ever really talk about what do you do when you start winning with money, right? What does it look like when you actually start doing better with money, winning with money, and how do you handle the people who are not going to be in your corner like you thought they would, right? So this is a conversation. This is a talk between me and you guys to say, hey, what do we do? How do you handle it? Let's see. Thumbs up. I appreciate thumbs up, guys. Like somebody checking in from New York City in Houston, Texas, and... Uh, Somebody said, describe haters. We'll talk about it. We'll get it. We'll get, we'll dig a little deeper into it because yeah. Yeah. Some people want to know exactly what is a hater. So we'll, we'll talk about that too, right? Because there's different definitions of what a hater is. As you come in, smash the like button for me, guys. Normally on a Thursday like this, I'm sitting at my desk, but today I said, you know what? I don't want to sit at my desk. I really just come down here and just relax. So Let's talk, right? I'm just sitting here scrolling through a few things here on my on my laptop here as we have this conversation. Listen, guys, you're going to have haters when you start winning with money. Guarantee you. How do you cope with them? What do you do? How do you handle it? Right? Because it's one thing to get better with your money, get better, but you're not going to get better with your money in a cocoon, right? You're still going to have to be around people, friends, relatives, family, whatever it may be. And they're observing. I mean, look at this. OK, look at uh, let's look at in the real world. Look at a guy like uh, LeBron James, right? Basketball player. Most people know him. He's a kind of a worldwide figure for the most part. Got a lot of haters. And um, I can't think of one scandal that guy's been in. Um, what scandal has LeBron James been in? Not a scandal, married to his high school sweetheart, got three kids, three or four kids. I don't know how many kids, two, three, I think three, three kids, three kids. He's got kids. He's got same wife. Uh, probably not perfect, right? Probably he probably got a lot of imperfections, as we all do. But he ain't been involved in too many scandals, right? But lo and behold, he got a lot of haters, because he's the best at what he does, right? He's the best at what he does. When you get good and you get up here in any level of wherever you're at, you're going to have people who hate on you. Look at another guy in the space that we talk about, money, Dave Ramsey. A lot of haters of Dave Ramsey. <whistles> A lot of haters of Dave Ramsey, right? And Dave Ramsey has had his share of lawsuits and issues and problems and things like that. Right, I get it. But he's another example of somebody who he gets to the top of the pendulum. You're going to have a lot of haters, right? It just happens. It comes with the territory. But nobody really addresses 
How do you handle it when you start winning with money or winning in whatever? You're successful in whatever profession you do. How do you handle that? Right? I can tell you it's different, right? It's different. You got to think about this, guys, about, I say about uh, this time last year. This time last year, this channel had about 5,000 in January. It probably had about six, about 7,000 subscribers on this channel. Now the channel is almost at 125, 126,000. That's a lot, right? Now, I'm no LeBron James. I'm no Dave Ramsey. I don't claim to be, don't want to be. But at the same time, you have a lot of people. I get emails every single day from all different people reaching out, want to do this, want to partner here, partner there. It's a little different, right? And sometimes you got to back it up a little bit, right? But I could name person after person who's highly successful, and it seems they get the most hate. So when you start winning with money, when you start doing better than the people around you with your money, the chances are you're going to get a little bit of hate. This is why once people become successful, you see a lot of people move to where other successful people are at because they can kind of they kind of have a commonality. They can kind of uh, uh, understand each other, right? When people get really uber, uber successful, right? Sometimes people tend to change their, um, their social circle when they start winning with money, right? I mean, it happens, right? Guys, as you come in, do me a favor and smash the like button. Tell me where you're checking in from before we dig deeper into this, right? Let me see what we got here in the chat. Got a bunch of chats going on. Raleigh, North Carolina's in here. Merlin's in the house. Got to keep my image that I'm broke up as long as possible. Less eyes on me and my paper, said Spree Noir. Let's see here. Uh, this is a factual. <laughs> yeah, it is a factual. It is a and it's, Nobody really talks about it either. I don't deal with haters. I hope they think I have nothing. Somebody said hi from California. Good to see you, Angie. Matt Cat. New York City. Check it in. Good to have you in an NYC. Keep silent about it. Absolutely. Salute back to you, Jay. Good to have you in here. And happy birthday, Jay Samuels in the chat, guys. Give him a happy birthday. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate you being here on your birthday. And hope you have a good one. MJ fan, but LeBron is still great. Listen, you don't have to be an MJ person or LeBron person. All of them are great. That's how I look at it. Everybody come from different eras. They're all great. And we should celebrate greatness. It's okay. Somebody said, let silence be your story, folks. Haters going to hate because they can't be us. Itchy Asian said, jealousy. Listen, it's a topic about money. And I know in here we talk about the U.S. economy. We talk about stock market, ETFs, index funds. We talk about how to invest. We talk about growing your money, developing good habits, money management. But listen, people are going to hate on you when you start winning with money. And it's not going to be the people who you thought would always be in your corner. You got people, if, you, if, you, if you're doing pretty well with your money, you got people that are close to you, family members, who you wish would either come on board, ask you how you do it, ask for advice, pump you up, incur. You may not get none of that when you start winning with money, Right? It can it, it gets a you can it can get a little discouraging. You're like, man, I'm doing pretty good. But what happens is I've heard this from a lot of people who tell me this, right? They say that when they start making money and doing a little bit better, people tend to treat them differently and they feel it, right? Now, thankfully, I haven't had that too much with me, right? But in terms of I heard it from a lot of people that said, look. I wanted to do this with my money, but then I said, you know what? Hey, guys, I'm not going to go on that trip because I'm trying to save up for X, Y, Z. And then they get a little backlash from people for that. And I'm saying, man, how unfortunate. Is there any, who's talking on the internet about how to handle uh, money? I mean, how to handle being successful with money? Who's talking about that, right? Because it's a real thing that people go through, right? People will call you what? arrogant. They'll call you, you think you're better than everybody else. They'll say, uh, or they just won't talk to you as much, right? Right. All that type of stuff happens, right? 
when you start winning, winning with money, the hate is going to be there. How do you handle the haters is the question that I want to answer on this video. You're going to, you're going to have the haters. Got to cope with them. Right. Let me, let me start this whole thing. Let me, I already started it off, but let me kind of keep going with this whole thing and say this. Keep in mind, you got to, you, you got to keep this in mind. You got to settle this and you got to still be humble. You start winning with money, you're doing pretty good. You got to stay humble, right? But you just got to get over the fact that everybody's going to be happy for you, right? You got to kind of settle this in your mind that everybody's going to be happy for you, as happy as you are for you when you start winning for money, right? There's a certain group of people who you've known for a long time in your life. They liked you when you was down there with them. When you was hanging out with them, you didn't have no money. Y'all was broke together. They was cool with you. Oh, you was cool. Man, you was cool. Oh, we was real cool. We was tight. Soon as you wanted something more for your life, as soon as you wanted to want to go up the side of the mountain, they still in the valley doing what they're doing, right? Whether it's just barely hanging on with money, not trying to better their life with money, not trying to get a higher skill, get a degree or hire this higher skill. It don't have to be a degree. It could be just a skill. They don't, Whatever it could be. It could be they down there drinking and smoking. Who knows, right? But the point is, you start wanting to do something different. They don't like that. Start, as soon as you start going up that mountain, they're going to look at you and tell you that you think you're better than them. Who you think he is? Who she thinks she is? right? You know what I'm talking about. Just because you want more and you want different. You got to have thick, thick, thick skin when you pull yourself up from nothing. Because there's always somebody back there who ain't going nowhere and want you to go there with them, right? Could be your family, could be your friends. You ain't going to be the toast of town when everybody starts figuring out, oh man, she's been doing some investing, right? You're not going to be the toast of the town always. Just remember that. Another thing I would do, think about. Try to make the criticism. If you get any criticism, don't let it get you down and depressed. Use it as fuel, right? Use it as, instead of using it as your kryptonite, let it be your fuel. Push you. Allow it to push you up. Allow it to push you forward. Allow it to, to motivate you, right? Or you could do this. Take it as a compliment when people hate on you, right? Um, people must revere you to a certain extent or they wouldn't even be talking about you or talking uh, about you in a negative way, whatever way they're talking about you. Take it as a compliment, right? Listen, you're going to get to envy. You're going to get to criticism no matter what you do. Okay, there's a lot of people out here who want everybody to like them. Everybody not going to like you, right? No matter what you do, you can't please everybody. One of the easiest ways to be, to be unsuccessful in the world is trying to spend your time pleasing everybody else. Don't please everybody else, right? Criticism is, is probably proof that you're probably doing some good things. Right? People bad mouth you. What could that mean? Guys, don't forget to smash the like button when you're in here. All right. Hit that like button for me. Um, so again, how do you cope with haters who are gonna hate on you when you start winning with money? Keep this in mind, also, guys. Usually, people that are successful in any particular area of their life, they typically don't spend a lot of time putting other people down. OK, in other words, who did I, I I said it a couple few years back, but haters typically punch up. Right. Very rarely. Now, you might see it every now and then, but very rarely will you see a hater punching down. Haters punch up. People that don't know you, but they still don't like you or they barely know you or they see you and you're doing well with your money and and they're envious or jealous, whatever you want to call it, or just simply don't like 
you know, the way you've changed, they'll say some things like that. Listen, they usually have, they usually are coming from a position where they think they're below you. Unfortunately, it's not, you know, it's not like that. You probably feel the same. You're just doing different things with your money and trying to be better with your money. But they perceive that they are below you. That's why they have to punch up. I don't, people, people that are winning with money and you can, some of you in the chat can attest to this. You don't have time to be putting people down and punching down on people, right? Another thing you can do is this. Let me think about this. One of the things you can do to deal with haters when you start winning with money is maybe you can um, kill them with kindness, right? Just because somebody's mean to you or don't like you doesn't mean you have to be mean to them and not like them, right? We all, let me just say this too, guys. This is really important. When you start winning with money, I believe you have a responsibility to give back. I believe you have a responsibility to help people that are less fortunate than you, right? People who maybe didn't get the memo about what to do to build wealth or to come out of poverty or, and people who aren't there yet. I believe that you have a duty on this planet to help out other people, to help those that are less fortunate than you, right? So I say all that to say this, when you start winning with money, stay humble, right? Stay humble, help other people. Don't get to the point where you're floating on cloud nine and you've all of a sudden think, don't change to start thinking you're better than everybody else or everybody. No, it, don't do that, right? That's, that's your responsibility, right? We know there's haters out there that's going to hate on you no matter what, but you have a responsibility to bring along a little bit of humility as well, right? Because there are people out here that are hurting. I'm not saying that's your responsibility, but I'm saying you got to help other people and you got, it's, it's, it's good to stay humble, right? It, you don't need to worry about or even retaliate against a hater, right? Don't do that. There's no need to, right? Um, and you go, you see it on all the social media platforms, right? And I, I'm, I'm on, I'm on a lot of social media platforms. So you could, you can find Smart Money Bro on Instagram. You can find Smart Money Me, Smart Money Bro on uh, Twitter or X, right? Or or which I don't get on there very often. It's hard to be everywhere so much, right? Because if I'm on YouTube, it's, I'm you know I gotta have a life outside of YouTube, right? But um, I'm on Facebook. I have a I have a Facebook group called Smart Money Bro, and we have a Facebook page, right? So I'm I'm, a, I'm in a lot of places, and because I'm in a lot of places, I do see a number of things on social media. And so I see a lot of, I won't say a lot, but I do see a quite, a num quite a number of people that hate on people that are successful. They don't do it overtly so much all the time, right? But there's a little stench of mendacity. <laughs> that was what I saw in that, uh, that, that case in, in Atlanta and Fulton County, right? But no, there's a stench of hate on people that tend to, um, when people are, are successful and they're successful with money, but as, as people that are successful with money, we got to be careful, in my opinion, just my opinion, guys, not to be boastful, bragging. I mean, you can, you can talk about what you got to talk about. And I have to talk about this stuff quite a bit because I branded myself as smart money bro. And if I branded myself as smart money bro, and then I come on and do something, that's going to, people are going to look at that and say, and you, you you might get haters. I might get haters because of just being smart money bro, right? And I didn't think about this six, seven years ago when I first started calling myself smart money bro, right? But people, there's a, there's a stench of people that will say that if you say something about money on here, you think you're better than, and you really don't. You're just trying to maybe help other people in a certain way. Now, if, if I didn't have a brand and you didn't see me before you in front of this camera right here, I would be very, very low key. Very, very, very low key. Right. OK, I you guys, if you come on this channel, if you're new here, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. But if you're if you're not new here, you know, I drive a 17 year old car. Right. Um. 
Um, and it's in pretty good condition, right? Toyota. I drive a 17 year old car. Um, I live in a very modest house, uh, very modest clothes, very modest person in general. Um, not real flashy. I don't even wear hardly wear a watch. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, can I buy some, you know, all that stuff? Sure. But that's not really my style. But the thing is that even if you try to be low key, you just got to be aware and conscious of other people, right? And respectful of other people who may not be doing as well as you're doing. That's all I'm saying, right? I'm not saying you have to uh, bow down to what everybody thinks you should be. Because, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying be aware, be conscientious. That's all I'm saying, right? Understand, guys, that what we, and, and don't retaliate. I got into that to say, don't retaliate. You don't have to go back and forth with somebody. It's not necessary, right? Right? We got to understand that what we feed tends to grow and what we starve dies. If you feed into the mess of a hater, oh, you hate on me? Well, you ain't, and you get, you have, you ain't got to do all that, right? You feed in the mess, you get more mess. You ignore haters, it can die down, right? But don't react to your haters. It's not necessary. It only feeds a hater, Right? Then you got to realize this too, right? When you have a hater for almost literally no reason, you're just trying to do something different with your money. You're trying to grow your money. You're trying to be different with your money. You're trying to uh, make more money, more income, or you're trying to do a budget on a regular basis, or you want to watch your money and what you spend. You're watching your expenses more, right? You have to realize that a lot of times it's more about them than it is with you, Right? People who don't know you, who just hate on you, or people that know you but still hate on you, it's not really because of who you are. A lot of times, guys, this is just flat out being honest with you. A lot of times it's because who they are not. I hope that makes sense the way I said it. Maybe I should say it a little different. They hate on you not because of you winning with money. They hate on you because they're not winning with money if that makes any sense, right? So you don't have to take it personal is what I'm saying. When you start winning with money and you hang around friends or family that aren't winning with money, you don't always have to bring up your money, right? That's the first thing. But you also don't take it too personal sometimes if people attack you. Sometimes the attack is more about them as opposed to you, right? No matter what you do though, guys, keep in mind, people are always gonna criticize you. You can't please everybody, okay? When you try to achieve any level of, if you get to any level of success, let's say you're in this chat right here and you come from um, a family that was you know, lower middle class or poor family and you start winning with money and you pull yourself up, so to speak, and you go to college. Maybe you don't even go to college. Forget college. You don't go to college. You just start investing in real estate or you become a plumber or whatever, and you have a good solid job and you make a lot of money and you invest a lot of money and you start winning with money and doing better with money. You're still going to, you could be the nicest person in the world, treat everybody well, be humble. Uh, you could also be the type of person that, um, you know, gives to other people, right? There's still going to be people that criticize you. Still, right? There's still going to be people that don't like you, that don't know you or barely know you or know you and think you changed and now you're different. Well, here's the kicker, guys. When people always say that you think you've changed, when I hear somebody tell somebody that or something, listen, you're supposed to change, right? If you're the same person at 41 that you are when you're 21, then guess what? Something's wrong. You're supposed to change. You're not supposed to be the same 25-year-old for the rest of your life. So don't, don't let people tell you that you think you've, you've changed. You're not the same person. No, you're not the same person. That's the beauty of life. You're growing. You're evolving. You're maturing. You're becoming something different, a different person than you was back then when you was 21 and 25 and hanging out with everybody like you like you used to and spending money all over the place like you used to, right? Listen, you've got to, 
you got you want to win with money. You've got to evolve. And when you evolve, you've got to let some people go who don't want to evolve with you, who want to drag you back. Right. Call them cra crabs in a barrel. You're supposed to change, folks. And a lot of times when you change with money and how you're spending behaviors and your, your spending patterns, people won't like you. Settle that in your head. Stop being that people pleaser that you want everybody in your family to love you and like you and want to hang out with you. They won't. They don't. It's OK. It doesn't make you a bad person. Right. you got to be. Listen, you got to have thick skin. You got to have thick skin to win with money and be confident in winning with money. You got to have thick skin just to be successful in any real area of your life. Right. I always look at a hater as somebody who, OK, I look at a hater. And we can define hater however you want to define it. Right. I look at a hater. As a person who really is communicating. They hurt, they're hurting in some way. It's to me, when you see somebody, when you see somebody hating on, Le, for example, okay, hating on LeBron James, just hate LeBron James for absolutely no reason. As I said before, in the beginning, is he's just a basketball player who's one of the best basketball players of all time on the planet, greatest basketball player, one of them, and people just don't like him for no reason. When I see people that just don't like him for no reason, to me, that says more about that person than it does LeBron James, right? Or somebody just hates Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey's helped millions and millions of people get out of debt, right? Whether you agree with his religious stance or you agree with how he handles employees at his, at his whatever, he's still helped millions and millions and millions and millions of people. So if you hate, if you really hate, and I just hate Dave Ramsey, I hate that. To me, it tells more me more about you than it tells me about him. Right? Hurt people hurt people, right? And that applies to the people that are hurting you because you're winning with money. Hurt people hurt people. When we tear people down, it reveals more about our true, true character than theirs, right? An attack, when you attack somebody, you're exposing your own insecurities and your own thoughts and your own uh, suppressed emotions, right? That's how I look at a hater, right? Somebody who, when I talk to people and people tell me, hey, I'm, I, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, but, you know, I still can't get much support because, I, you know, the people around me aren't really supporting me and blah, blah, blah. That don't really tell me nothing about, it tells me about the people around them, Right? Let me also say this, because I got to say this. This is really important. If you do start winning with money, if you're doing pretty well with money, you make sure that you don't get to the point where you don't listen to constructive constru uh, criticism. You should still take constructive criticism. Listen, just because you make $200,000 a year and you got a million dollars in a, a saved or in investments doesn't mean that somebody that makes $30,000 a year and has $30,000 in investments can't offer you something that you can learn from. Don't ever feel like just because you have a bunch of money, it means that you're better than other people. Don't do that. Listen to people that have constructive criticism, right? I'm not saying <clears throat> put it at the top of the list. It's the most important thing. And you, you, you get emotional and live and die by what they say. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if somebody has something of uh, constructive criticism to offer you, right? Think about it. Don't just blow it off because, oh, they don't have no money. They don't know what they're talking about. Sometimes, listen, some of the smartest people I've ever known in my life don't have no money, right? Some of the best wisdom in the world came from the grandparent who, look, my, my, neither one of my grandmothers could even drive, right? From down south. They couldn't drive, right? So, but they didn't make no money, right? But just because I make, I have a little bit of money doesn't mean I can't listen to somebody who doesn't have a whole lot of money. You got to humble yourself. 
And you got to pay attention to constructive criticism because sometimes people have, sometimes the people that are telling you something, they're right, right? They're not always wrong just because you look at them as a hater. Take some inventory of yourself. Maybe there's something you are doing that is causing people to react a certain way. Look, don't be, don't ever be afraid to look in the mirror and be honest with yourself, right? What are you doing or saying, saying, or how are you behaving that's sort of throwing people off? Maybe you had a couple of haters, two or three, three or four of them. What are they saying that could have a common thread in it, right? You're just because you've earned a lot of money or you make a lot of money or you have a lot of money, it doesn't mean that you are perfect and it doesn't mean that you're above everybody else. Just don't look down at other people and take them for granted just because they have less money than you. I had to say that, right? Because we're talking about haters, but sometimes what people are saying should probably set in a little bit every now and then, right? Let's see, Phoenix is in the house, New Jersey's in the house, Eagle Pass, Texas is here. What's up, Hawaii? Portland, Oregon checking in. Uh, can you help my son with voice jobs? Yeah, I do a little voiceovers on the side, guys. Uh, tell him to send me, look at it, after this is over, give me about 30 minutes when this is over, and in the description box, you'll see a bunch of stuff, and he can reach out to me if he wants to send me an email. Let's see here, uh, let's see. Somebody says, how do I become rich? Watch a few of these videos that I'm giving you guys. I'm, I'm trying to uh, drop some knowledge. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you're wondering, guys, like where you can hear my voice, I do the intro voice for my man JT, the pocket watcher, Jason Thornton. If you ever look, watch JT, JT, the pocket watcher, that's my voice in the beginning of his show. Jason Thornton. All right. I don't mind giving him some pub on my side of the aisle. He's a nice guy. All right, New Jersey's in the house. Good to have you, New Jersey's in the house. If you're smartest person in the room, then you're hanging around the wrong people, the wrong room. I like what you said there, um, Freddie. Appreciate you being here. Let's see, more power to you, my friend, Robert Hill. Thanks for being here. Big, big, big shout out. We got muscles. Big Island, Hawaii. What's Big Island, Hawaii? We all have to, we all have to wrestle with money. Some of us master it. Memphis 10, Shelby County is here. Antoine is here. Appreciate you being here. Turkey, the country of Turkey. Big shout out. Good to have you here as well. That's a long way away. I'd love to be there one day. Manhattan, New York. Good to have you. Got to say Manhattan like that, right? Manhattan. All right. Understand the process. I applied to get where I am at. Uh, so I remain focused on the process. I also understand why haters hate. So it doesn't bother me if they don't like me. I feel sad for bad for them. Yeah, good point, uh, Jesse. Uh, same way here. You know, you work hard to be where you're at. You don't have to apologize for being successful. Never apologize for winning with your money because that takes a lot of discipline and it takes a lot of work. And it's not easy to win with money in this society, as we all know, guys. Hey, uh, hey, shout out to you, uh, Miss Reynolds. Let's see. Yes, guys, hit the like button. As Miss Reynolds says, I appreciate you saying that. Smash it. Haters never punch down. No, they punch up, right? Let's see. They uh, boom, boom, boom. People took my kindness for weakness, their mistake. I can't have vampires sucking my soul. Yeah, you're right, Miss Reynolds. I agree with that. Haters in your own family is the worst. Yeah, haters in your family is the worst because look, <laughs> look, you got cousins, <coughs> excuse me, cousins that you was real cool with when you was 10, 11, 12, 15, 18, right? But your, but your cousins went one way and you decided to go the other way. Or you got cousins right now. You're 35 years old and you got cousins right now. You got like two different sets of friends, right? You got the cousins who are still doing what y'all was doing when y'all was 15, 12 years old. Then you got a whole other group that you met at, at another function that are doing well and they're pulling you up a little bit. So sometimes a lot of people are stuck between the old school, the old friends, and the new associations where they want to go, right? That's just, it gets stuck in our head, guys. But whatever you do, when you start winning with money, you're going to have this. Okay, if you're like me, right? Somebody that didn't come from much, right? And I still know a lot of people who didn't come from much and don't have much, right? 
I haven't moved over into some social light, you know, uh, uh, group of people. Right. So I still know a lot of people who is in the struggle, who's in the struggle and struggling and day to day, paycheck to paycheck. Right. Menial job, et cetera. I still know a lot of people like that. So what happens is. But then again, I know a lot of people on the other side of that, too. So a lot of people are like that, guys. If you didn't come from an upper middle class group. Right. Sometimes when you come from an upper middle class group, now you got upper middle class friends. There may not be that dichotomy between the two sets. Right. But if you come from a certain area, you will get that. It happens. Right. Uh, Gemini here for the, late to the game. That's all right, Gemini. We wind it back. We, we talked a lot. Uh, we just we just went into a lot of stuff. Uh, I just wanted to get into what how do you treat the haters? Right. How do you retreat the haters? Let me know how you treat them in the comments. I mean, I mean, oh, the live chat. Yeah. OK, let's see. We got Florida's in the house. Gainesville triples in from Gainesville. Good to have you here. Uh, we also have to be careful not to forget to click on the Yes. Click on. Sm I say smash the like button for me. <laughs> I like this. I don't know why I like to say that, guys. I uh, appreciate that. Blue sky. appreciate that. Check the logic. Let's see. I uh, said I had a family member that is well off get upset over my frugal shopping trips. I couldn't believe that. <laughs> them being older than me, I would think that would make them proud. Yeah. Yeah. You try to be frugal, people will, oh man, <clears throat> people will really look down at you when you want to be frugal, right? People get, people will get angry at you <clears throat> if they know you have money, but you still want to be frugal or you still are a frugal person. Like why? Like I told you, I have a 17 year old car I drive. <clears throat> I have people that ask me, why are you driving this old car? Why do you drive? I'm going to tell you what. OK, <laughs> don't laugh at me. But from 19, I'm sorry, from 2018 to 2021, I drove a 1997 Ford Escort. No joke. I drove a 1997 Ford Escort for about three years there. I mean, because I just wanted, I wanted a car to get from A to B. I don't never trip on a car, right? I don't ever worry about having the fanciest car or anything like that. Just never have. I've never been the guy out there with the beats in my car and with the fancy wheels and outside washing my car every two days, right? That, that never was me. I'm not mad at you if you do that, but that just wasn't me. But people get angry when they know you have money and you ain't out spending money. I, I never understood that either. So I'm with you on that, right? Let's see. They ain't hating start worrying then. Dave Ramsey's awesome, somebody said. Yep, what's up to you, LD? Good to have you in here. From San Antonio, Texas. In my book, a hater is a fan, and I like give them their money's worth. Yeah, I look at I look at a hater as somebody who is, you know, they're paying attention, right? For some reason, they don't like you, but they're paying attention to you. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I get it, guys, you would not believe. I'm not even going to go into it too deep right here, right? But you would not believe the haters that I get. Even though I'm out here helping people, trying to help people get better with their money, right? Trying to help people improve their personal financial situation. That's really my big goal, right? Get you to watch these videos. And that's my big goal is to, is to do that. And I still get haters, right? I do, believe it or not, guys. But, you know. I just shrug it off and say, okay, they're paying attention. Uh, the, listen, the, the more out there you get, not just money-wise, right? Just the more, the, you, could, you could just be out there. When I say out there, I mean, you could have your name out there somewhere and you could somehow, right? I, like, you know, you have a video or something that hundreds of thousands of people see or whatever. You may not make much money from the video being out there like that. But this is why I understand and if you if you think about this, guys, and a lot of you can kind of relate to this in this chat here, like famous people or people that are tend to hit the spotlight and um, didn't really. So that's why I'm a little bit careful of criticizing. I do criticize some people, though. Let's be honest. Right. I'm, I'm human. But I get a little I try to draw back if I can from criticizing famous people that I don't know. Right. Famous people that I really don't know the whole story. I don't know what's going on really out there. I just know what's being reported and what's being said on YouTube or Facebook or the new whatever TV. I, so I'm a little hesitant because some of those people didn't ask for any of that hate. 
but they're getting a lot of hate. They get a lot of hate. So I'm, I'm a little leery about that. I'm not perfect, though. I will throw a little hate every now and then, you know, make a comment or opinion. I'll have an opinion about something. But I try, I try to pull myself back from that to put myself in their shoes, right? Yeah, jealousy is out there, guys. It does happen. I don't care what people think if they're only being negative. Time to move on. Yep, I always try to keep it positive, guys, if I can. I admire what Dave Ramsey, um, I admire Dave Ramsey has done for all these years in a respectful way. I don't agree everything with it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the same thing with me, guys. When you watch this channel, I don't expect you to agree, agree with everything I say or everything I I I say do or do. Please don't you do ne you never have to agree with me 100%. No. Because you I want you to be thinking for yourself. I would rather you think for yourself than just blindly agree with every single thing I say. Please don't do that. But I am a, I have a healthy understanding that just because we don't agree doesn't mean we can't like each other. Just because we don't agree doesn't mean that we can't respect one another. Just because, listen, I, I watch a whole bunch of YouTube channels that I don't agree with every single thing. Any, I don't agree with everything my own mother says, right? But the point is that you should never just agree with everything anybody says. You should be doing your own fact checking, coming to your own conclusions. You need to be thinking for yourself. I don't want to tell you how to think about money. I have, I have some videos on here where I talk about you need to develop your own money philosophy. No, just take me and Dave Ramsey's philosophy. What is your money philosophy? You can take me, Ramsey, uh, who name the other person, right? Tony Robbins, you name them. You can take all of us and put, up, put us in a pot, stir us around, and you come up with your own money philosophy because everybody's situation is different. Right. You do what's working, but don't come up with no philosophy that's just going to uh, uh, justify bad behaviors with money. Right. Come up with a philosophy that's really working for you and go with it. Don't believe everything I say, please. I'm not the I'm not the authority on everything. Trust me. Right. I don't know everything. Right. I don't pretend to know. everything. I don't want to know everything, but I want to give you what I know to help you form your own opinion. That's what it's all about. Not trying to agree with everything, every, every single thing I say. Um, hey, somebody didn't curse. I appreciate you that. Somebody says good advice. Good. Uh, I think he said good financial advice. Oh, he said that's good financial advice, bro. I appreciate you, Craig. <laughs> uh, somebody said, I agree. Never stop growing and learning. Yes, I got friends who are always on my case. Uh, Joe said, and not buying a new truck when I have perfectly good one that's paid for. Right on. Knowledge is power. No doubt. Uh, triple C, it's your birthday. It's also Jay Samuel's birthday. If you were lying a little bit before, Jay is in here. So happy birthday to you. Good to have you. All right. Thank you for being here. Let's see here, guys. I'm gonna miss a few of them. That's all right, Kimmy from San Antonio. You're late, but just rewind this thing back. We're still here. What are we talking about? Listen, here's what we're talking about. How to handle the haters when you start winning with money. How are we handling the haters, right? I said, listen, guys, first things first, don't be arrogant, right? Treat people with respect, right? You're going to have haters if you start winning with money. Be humble. Don't think everybody is going to be on your side or pulling for you or, yay, look at Look at uh, look at uh, TJ going up the ladder. Yay. We're so happy. That ain't happening. Settle that in your brain. Right. P there's people in the valley that want you in the valley with them. And when you start going up the mountain, they're going to try to pull you back down the mountain to come hang out with us in the valley. And they're not going to be cheering for you as you go. Matter of fact, there's going to be people in the valley who's looking at you climb that mountain. And guess what they're going to say? Boy, I can't. Watch him. Oh, he slipped. Ooh. Oh, he about to fall. Oh, he fell. And then when they see you in person, they're going to say, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know. But they was watching you climb that mountain and they was waiting on you to fall. And when you fall, they happy secretly. But in front of you, they all on your side back there down in the valley. Right. Let's keep it real. There's people that are like that that are around you right now. And the only reason you haven't identified them is because you ain't really went up that mountain yet. When you start climbing that mountain for real, you get a new set of friends, 
You start talking a little different. You start thinking a little different. You start behaving a little different. You start to do things different with your money. Guess what? That's when the haters come out. They don't come out when you down there chilling with them. You hanging out with them, doing what they do, spending your money the way they're spending their money. They, you don't, you don't see them yet. You don't see them until you really start winning. Right? That's the kicker. I said also, I said this, if you missed it earlier, make the criticism your fuel, not your kryptonite when people start to criticize you, right? And I said, hey, somebody else said in the chat, take it as a compliment, right? Somebody, they must revere you. And I also talked about LeBron and Dave and all these guys that win and ain't done a whole lot wrong, right? Okay, you may not like some of their philosophy, I get it, but why hate on, why are you hating on people? Right. I also said smash the like button. Got to hit the like button for me, guys. It puts this important video out to more and more people. And that's the kicker. Right. We want to reach as many people as possible. I'm all crooked on this thing. Let me see if I can straighten it up. I don't think I can. I'm going to mess it up. But I also said, guys, that remember. Haters punch up always. Right. And I also said you can kill them with kindness. Right. You don't have to meet hate with hate. Right. Just because people are mean to you or they act a little funny towards you don't mean you got to act funny towards them. When people hate on you, it's more it's usually more about and you ain't done nothing. You're just trying to, to improve yourself. It's usually more about them than you. Right. Stay humble. I also said stay humble. Right. I said make sure you are humble. Stop getting a little money and thinking you're better than everybody. You don't have to. You're going to do some things different. But you got to have the right attitude at the same time. You got a responsibility to help other people, right? I'm a big I'm a big believer in giving and helping other people, and you got to you got to also be at the point where sometimes you can look in the mirror. Make sure it's not you. That's all I'm saying. Right? But you ain't got to retaliate. You don't have to be bitter. You don't have to do be resentful. None of that. Right? Don't feed into the mess, right? Because what we feed into is what grows, guys, right? You can ignore the haters. You don't have to react, right? And I said, people that hate on you, typically, it's not because of you. It's because of them, right? Settle in your mind, though, guys, that everybody won't like you. Everybody's not going to be happy for your success with money. Right. Typically, a hater is going to be communicating out of, you know, some of their own pain, too. Right. But you got to make sure that you're at the point where you can listen to some criticism. All right. Hey, I'm not going to hold you guys. It's a beautiful day outside. I appreciate you guys being here. Let me run through some of the chat real quick. Uh, let's see here. I can't stand that spirit. Continue success with your YouTube channel. Thank you, uh, sports nerd. I appreciate that. Uh, Sports Nerd TV. Definitely need to watch your videos. Yes, please come watch them, man. It's just basic common sense with money. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing flashy. You're not going to see me, you know, posing next to a brand new, uh, I was going to say Jetta, but that's so 1989, a brand new, um, whatever, name it. Uh, name the fancy car. I can't even name a fancy car, right? Uh, Mercedes truck. Bentley, right? I'm not going to have jewels on. I'm not going to be promoting um, certain things, right? I'm very, very careful about what I what I promote and what I attach myself to, right? Um, Mint Mobile, they'll be in the description box. I partner with Mint Mobile because I believe in them. I use them. I partner with StreamYard because I use StreamYard. I agree with StreamYard. I like StreamYard. I partner with Convert kit, right? These are things that I've used for years and years and years. And so I partner with them, right? But I don't have a course to sell. I have no courses. I don't even think I want a course. I don't want a course, right? I know some people ask me, do you have a course? I don't, I'm getting some merch, but I don't have merch yet. But I just want to, I just want to, my, my whole goal is to really help people, right? I don't have the goal to make a whole bunch of money on YouTube. Right. Although I, I make money on YouTube flat out. But I, I was on YouTube for two and a half years and never two and a half. 
a year and a half, maybe almost two years, and never made a dime, right? I had to get into the partner, the YouTube partner program. That took a year and a half for me, right? It took over two, 200, 300 videos to get into the YouTube partner program. My goal is not the money. My goal is to help you, right? That's that's the that's the truth. And so I might say things on this channel that, you know, I could do a lot of different, there's all different types of videos about money I could do that I know I could make a whole bunch more money on YouTube that would get a whole bunch more views. But honestly, guys, that's not the, that's not the, my goal, right? That's not my goal. I see, I see the news channels, right? There's a lot of entertainment on YouTube. So people like um, editorial comments, right? They want you to be the wolf blitzer of Republican versus Democrat. They want you to be the wolf blitzer. You know, if you know wolf blitzer. He's the guy that he I think he still does this. Come on CNN and give us editorial like, you know, like we care. Uh, yeah, nothing wrong with wolf. But the point is this. I could do that sitting and go through news stories going on. And the, I don't really do that. Right now, if something is important in the news that's going to affect our money. I'll talk about it. But I'm not here for the money. Right. To be honest with you. Right? Now, don't get me wrong. I like making the money that YouTube gives me. Let's not let's not let's not uh, let's keep it 100 or keep it a buck. Is that what they say right nowadays. So but the point is to really help folks. And I know that there's nobody out here. No, okay, nobody. There's very, very, very few people on here talking about what happens when you do start making money. What happens when you do um, start winning with your money? What happens when you do get $100,000 in your, your investments, right? And then, you know, once you get 100, 200,000, it don't take long to get 300, 400,000 because of compound interest, right? In your investments. What who's out here talking to the person that has five rental properties and they have a net worth of $700,000 and explaining to them what is it going to ha what's going to happen to you? when you reach that level and how do you deal with the people that don't like you when you reach that level? Because they're out here. There's people that don't like you just because of your title, right? You ever, have you ever been a manager somewhere or over people, or I've sat on some boards, some local, some really high, uh, high, um, high up boards, I don't know, high, you know, how you ever call them? They're, they're high profile boards, right? I've sat on some high profile boards, right? And when you sit on a high profile board, you just walk in the room and people act different, right? People laugh at your jokes that ain't even funny, right? Right? And you feel this because you understand you were, you, you've been on both sides. I've been on both sides of the aisle, right? I've been the person who's looking at the supervisor and I've been the person who's making the decisions and supervising. So the point is that people treat you different just because of they know you have some money. Just because they know you have been doing well with your money for a long time, just because they know you own some rental property, people treat you different. How do you handle it? There's not a lot of people talking about that. You can you can put that in YouTube, and you won't find. You can put this title of you this this title of this video in YouTube, and you won't find five videos in YouTube about that. But it's a real thing. So I don't want to hold you guys. Look, man. I just want to have a quick conversation with you. I appreciate you being here on this Thursday. And we come on here Thursdays and Saturdays. Thursdays at 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time here in America. America, And Saturdays at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time here in America. And every now and then, we'll throw in a Wednesday, like we did yesterday. And we'll throw in a live on Sundays, right? So be looking for that, guys, in your feed. I appreciate your support more than you know. Thank you so much. Please share this video. Please share this information with somebody else. Share it with a hater. Share it with somebody who's been hating on you, right? And say, hey, what do you think about this video? Okay, maybe you don't want to share it with them, but share the video. That's the best way you can support this channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. All right? Check out the description box below. There'll be some free stuff there for you as well. Again, I always say this and I mean it. The best person who's going to take care of the old you is the young you. Guys, take good care of yourself, but also don't walk this planet without taking good care of other people as well. All right? Till the next video. Peace.